death. <laughs> it's inevitable. Yeah. Like, it's inevitable. It's hard to fathom, isn't it? It's hard to accept. And you're going to have to. One day you're going to have to. I think my that, mom said something to me one time that like freaked me out. And your she mom's said it to a me like she, my mom's 88. Really? 89 as of like a week ago. She said this a while ago. She was like, I'm ready. And I was just like, Yeah, but your mom believes in God. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I've, I've, I've even fucked around with like, Do you not believe in God? Uh, or well, you do, but until until the chips are and then you're like, fuck. I don't re when you're we'll upset about out. death. Well, we'll find out on that my deathbed. If I'm at peace with it, I mean, I, I think about it like I can't go to the, the like when I go to the doctor, I, f I freak out thinking I'll get bad news. That's what most people are. The most people die is they don't go to the doctor because they're afraid of getting bad news. The bad news is inevitable. It's coming. Yeah. No, you, it's yeah. coming whether you whether you feel it or whether a guy says it to you. Yeah. And I, I wake up every morning. Not now. I've been healthier since sober October. I've, I've, I've my drinking has cut back drastically. Like, I mean. I think I've drank maybe nine times since the beginning of October, which is a lot yeah. to not drink for me. But I think about it when I wake up. When I wake up, there was a period. I remember when it started, and I was like, oh, you're fucking up, man. Like, you're fucking up. You're not being healthy. Like, this is all bad stuff for you. And I think about it. It's why I work out every day. It's why I— Do you do it? Do you want to live because you're afraid of death, or you want to live for, like, land and the kids? It's, and... it's FOMO. <laughs> it's fucking the fact that I just— can't be it yeah you don't want everyone's... you don't want people to go on without you yeah i don't like, like that's you know what's funny that's an unheralded issue yeah they're like no we're that's why i went like the rapture great we're all dying i'm very cool with the rapture let's go i heard a story about this little girl in nagasaki and it was on this history podcast i listened to so they picked two places to drop bombs Based on weather, they kept trying to bomb this one place, but based on weather, they picked Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So, be, but they missed the target. And in also, Nagasaki. there were a shitload of Japanese people there. That was the other reason. <laughs> yeah, Just yeah, let's yeah, be yeah, clear. yeah. So they they missed the target in Nagasaki by like seven miles. There was this little girl. It's not funny. There's this little girl well, who. Well, let's see. Who? Who? The bomb hit, and she went to like the back of the room, and then got thrown against the wall. Woke up, and the world was gone. Like, the world was gone. And it was just her. And she didn't know. She was dying very soon. Like, she said, they said she felt like knives and were going in her skin and eyes and her mouth. And it was all, there was all the nuclear fallout. But the world was gone. She woke up, got thrown, got the, knocked unconscious in the back of her school, and got up, and there was no landscape. Like, it was just like... Yeah. And I kind of felt envious of her that I was like, oh, shit. So I did it. <laughs> it's just me out here. Like, I'm the last one, motherfucker. Would you want to be the last one? Yes. Fuck yes. It's a lot of FOMO, though. Oh, no. Then I'd be like, all right, now I die with everyone else. Okay, everyone else dies. Oh, you just want to, you, you want everyone to die. You just want to go. Last. I want to go with everyone. That's my biggest fear is like, I'm going to die. And then everyone's going to be like, Oh my God. Can I tell you how jealous I'm going to be of my family that goes, they're all on my deathbed, right? And everyone's there, and I'm taking my last breath. And then someone says, he's gone. It's really sad. She opened a bottle of whiskey, and someone goes, fuck you. I'm going to cry. Pete, will you open that bottle of wine real quick? That, I'm, I know that's what you a mean. fucked up, because that moment, that's what life's about is the fucking, I'm gone. My daughters, my wife, my friends, people are there. And then they go and celebrate my life, but I can't be there? That's yeah. so fucked up. They would go and have a drink, and they go, how great was dad? And they didn't say that to my face, or I didn't get any of those compliments. <laughs> yeah. Like, it would be, like, I, I think about, I think about I was having sex with Liam one time, and I, and I looked in her eyes, and I thought, I'm so glad that these are the eyes I'll see when I die. And not like some young fucking yoga trainer who goes perfect ass yeah. let's really get into it yeah per like beautiful full trimmed. head of blonde hair uh no wrinkles on her face doesn't need a bra doesn't need a bra loose fitting shirt no bra 
leaning over, and I'm laying we in the bed. don't want. This is who we don't want. This is what we don't want. We want Leanne. It's, you got the lollipop uh, with the sponge on it, so you, they, that's how they feed you water. You dip it in, and then you... Uh-huh. Right? And then she's looking at me, and she's like, honey, I love you. She's got a redneck accent, too. Yeah, they all do. She's like, I love you. I love you so much. And she, I watch her look at her watch, and I go, what are you doing? She goes, I'm just saying. I got yoga class in an hour, and I wondered, do you think I can go to that and then come back real quick? Because Leanne would never do that. Leanne's going to be my age, too. She's going to have fucking old lady eyes, and she's going to be like, give me some of that lollipop water. Uh, and then she's going to look at me, and she's like, don't go, birdie boy. And I'll go, I don't want to go, Leanne. She's like, I need you. My life's over when you're gone. You want someone to end their life when you end your life. Yeah. Yeah, you want the, you want everyone, like it's over. Yeah. I don't want it to go on without me. I don't. And I, it's funny because I, I have two thoughts about it, which is like, it's incredibly like narcissistic or arrogant. Yeah. But like. It's narcissistic. I'm a soft narcissist. Like I'm, a, I don't affect your life, but I think about everything for me. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, and uh, I, I got, I just got popped with a covert narcissism charge last week from a COVID from narcissism. Covert. Oh, Alan, Alan that's Rogan's Alan a COVID narcissist. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>